Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to another Maritime Expedition. My name's Charles. Got my good friend Landon Share with me today. Animal YouTuber extraordinaire. We're out here to do something a little different. Today, we're gonna be trying to catch and eat a barracuda. And I've never personally had one. Have you had one before? Or I've tried it first? when I was younger, but I don't remember what it tastes like. Okay, so. so we're both gonna be doing a little tasting of the barracuda. Landon may be able to give some to some animals at the zoo that he works at. He does a lot of really cool animal content that we're gonna definitely wanna have you guys check out at the end of this video. But regardless, we're here, ready to go. We're gonna get spearfishing and like I said, clear water, not too rough out, and we're ready to get in. All right guys, today our setup, we got a Koa 120 Euro spear gun with a reel on it. And basically what this reel is gonna do is just like a fishing reel or a bow fishing reel. When you shoot that fish, it's gonna run. You don't want it to take your whole gun, so it's gonna let that reel line go out of the gun for you. And you'll be able to pull that up to fight the fish from the surface. We're in about 120 feet of water, not diving all the way to the bottom. These barracudas like to sit on top of the wreck in about 40 to 50 feet usually. So hopefully it shouldn't be too bad of a dive. These guys are toothy critters, so you want to get a hold of them quick because there's other barracudas that could eat them, or sharks, or goliath groupers, you name it. There's lots of predators on these wrecks, so we have to be careful. We're going to always be diving with a buddy. You always want to make sure that you have a good dive buddy at all times staying next to you and that your boat driver is right on top of you and you're good to go. So we're going to make sure that we have all that squared away and we're going to get ready and hop in the water and go get us some dinner. First dive of the day. It's time to get in the water. I jumped in, got my composure, started my breathe up. Grabbed my spear gun, loaded up the bands, and from there, it was go time. Dove down on this nice barracuda and was able to put a great shot in him. He made a good run straight down to the bottom of the wreck. He was trying to get me wrapped up in the wreck and that's the reason this rear line is so helpful. You can swim up, catch your breath while you're pulling on this fish on the way up. At the surface, I was pulling the line up and it got stuck on the top of my GoPro actually and almost ripped my mask off my face and this is why it's so important to be diving with a good buddy that's aware of your surroundings. Landon was able to come grab that line, help me get it cleared real quick. As I was doing that, the Goliath grouper from the wreck came up to try and get a hold of him. Luckily I was able to pull it away before he got to him but if that Goliath got a hold of this barracuda we were not going to be able to get it up. And just like that we're at the surface, spear in hand and we've got this fish done. Got him in our hands and ready to throw him in the boat. He is just such a beautiful creature. Lit up silver and blue. There's big, big teeth on him. Such a crazy predator, such a crazy fish. Awesome fight. Can't ask for anything more than that. Just a super, super cool experience. Hey baby, we got it done in the morning, first drop. They were ready for us. We got a hold of a good one. First drop, got this absolute stud of a barracuda. Check out the teeth on that guy. So they have these massive teeth on top, which are just absolutely gnarly. And then they have an inside row of teeth just inside of their lip that's kind of more like a wahoo or a kingfish. And that's where they get that slicing, clean cut. They make for a great fight, rod and reel or spear. But to be able to harvest one out here is just an awesome feeling. So I don't know how we're gonna cook this guy up yet, but if you guys have any ideas, leave them in the comments. Maybe we'll have to try out your best barracuda recipe, but. We'll see what we're gonna do with him later, but we're gonna hop back in, see if we can get a smaller one for Landon, because this is clearly over 36 inches, which you can only keep one over 36 inches per boat. So we're gonna have to get a smaller one next if we wanna keep one, but great start to the morning. Landon made a deep dive down on the wreck and found the school of APs and luckily was able to stick one and man are these fish just crazy. This fish dove straight down to the bottom again and they are just such an insane fish. One of my favorite fish in all the keys. Everything about them from the taste to how they look, the beautiful colors on them, the iridescent, the streamers. It's just hard to beat being able to come down and harvest these fish and make these memories with your dive buddies in the Florida Keys is second to none. All right, good job, man. Atlanta got a nice AP off that drop. Was looking for some kudas, but this guy swims in, and we're not gonna pass up an AP for a kuda. Definitely I can not. tell you that. These are one of the best eating fish. Super stoked. So we have like the best eating fish and the quote unquote bad reputation of the worst eating fish. We're gonna see, but 
We're gonna go home, eat that barracuda, maybe make a couple more drops. There's tons of life on the reef today in the wreck, so we're gonna see if we can get anything else, but awesome starts to the morning. Let's get this guy in the box. Back in Tavernier Creek now, we had a beautiful run in, flat calm, crystal clear water. Days like this is what you dream of down here in the Keys. And I wanted to take a minute to talk about our sunglasses that we're wearing. These are the Bahio Bales Beach frames. And my personal favorite is the purple mirror lens. Um, I think it's the best overall lens for what I like to do, whether it's inshore fishing on the flats or being offshore or being on the reef. I think it's a lens that just covers it all. And they're a company that we like to be able to help promote and do anything we can to help our guys out at Bahio because we just love what they do. I'll leave a link in the description of this video so you guys can check out their website, maybe get yourself a pair. It's what me and Sophie wear in every video. We're always rocking the Bahios and they've just been very, very good to us. So we want to reciprocate that and give them a little love. So you guys make sure you check them out. They're great glasses. You will not be disappointed. You take a look at that big stinky guy right there. Got to tell you guys, I'm pretty skeptical still on how this is going to taste, but we're going to see. Because I've heard from many people that you're just overreacting. It's not as bad as it smells or it looks, but I don't know. We're about to find out right here. The moment of truth. I wanted to show you guys a cool thing about them. They have this one big tooth. All barracudas have that one big tooth at the bottom of their mouth. And they actually have a hole in the top that it fits perfectly into when they close it. It's kind of a cool thing. These fish are so crazy. And like I was saying, they have those big shredder teeth right there. But if you peel back that lip, that's where those serrated razor sharp teeth are behind the lip there. And that's how they clean cut your, your bait and they cut your line every time you catch one or try and catch one. That's usually how they get away. So first things first, what I'm gonna wanna do is, like I said, it smells pretty bad. So I'm gonna rinse it off. Typically you don't wanna get fresh water on your fillets, but I'm gonna rinse the outside of this so that we get some of that stank off of it real quick. So I'm just gonna go ahead and try and get as much of his slime coat off of him as possible. It's gonna minimize any chances of us having that stinky smell or fishy taste on our fillets, actually. You know, you talk about the reputation that the Barracuda has or has gotten over the years. Reasons why people don't wanna eat them. One, because they smell, plain and simple. I've said it a lot already, but it really is true. These guys stink. A lot of the times when we catch them, we don't even wanna bring them into the boat just because of how bad they smell. They have this reputation of having cigatera, but I've never heard of a single person that I know personally that's actually gotten ciguatera from a barracuda. I know plenty of people that have gotten it from other reef fish, hogfish, grouper, anything that lives on the reef has the potential to get that neurotoxin. And it basically lives in really, really clean water, which is why another reason we don't really get it down here in Florida, sadly, because our water is more polluted than places like the Bahamas that are just so pristine, they have more of a chance of attaining Cigatera over there. We're gonna get as much meat as we can off of them, and we're gonna just use one side of this guy, and Landon's actually gonna take some of it to the lions at ZWF, which will be really cool. None of this fish is gonna go to waste, so. If we like it, great. If not, we know that it's not gonna be wasted, and something is gonna make use of it. Just like any other filet, we're gonna start here towards the back. These guys do have some pretty thin skin, so what we're gonna wanna do is make our first incision and then we're just gonna wanna follow that knife along the back, just like any other fish that you're gonna be eating. You're gonna wanna make sure, if you can, you don't wanna even let it touch the table. And especially with a fish like this that you know is already a little smelly and that skin has already touched the table, we wanna keep this filet as intact as possible. We're just gonna do some trimming up on the sides here, make it look nice and clean. We're gonna go ahead and knock off a piece or two for us to eat. Trying something new, never had it before. We'll hear what all the fuss is about. We'll see if it's 
really as gross as everyone says or if we agree with the people that eat it all the time and say they love it. So we're gonna get the rest of this guy cleaned up and then I'm gonna head up to the house and Landon and I are gonna cook this guy up and make some lunch. All right, we're in the kitchen now. Gonna get ready to serve up our barracuda. So we're gonna go in, take our piece of barracuda. We're gonna put it in a little egg wash. Get that nice and incorporated, nice and coated. And then we're gonna drop it into our flour right here. Make sure we have a nice even coat on that. Get some flour on there. It all covered up nice and cakey. We want this stuff to taste as good as possible. So we're gonna get it all coated. Then we're gonna go back for a second dunk into our egg mixture. Same thing, just gonna shake that all around in there. Get it nice and covered up, make sure it's all good. And then our last dunk, we're gonna go into our breadcrumb here. Real simple, we got our oil heating up over here and I got some nice little brioche sandwich buns that we're gonna use. And we're gonna cut up a little lettuce and tomato and some tartar sauce, real simple, nothing crazy. Just wanna know how it tastes and see if it's worth keeping a couple in the future. Barracuda, there's a first time for everything as they say and today is Definitely a first time for this. So I'm gonna hit it with a little bit of lemon juice on top. Nice fresh taste. I like to put it on all my fish, so this isn't something I'm just doing for the barracuda anyways, but it does look pretty darn good. I'm not gonna lie to you. All right, now we gotta get Landon up here so he can try it with us. Since he was my dive buddy today, he's gotta get a little taste of the action. All right, finished product. I think it looks pretty good. It does look pretty good. Well, since you think it looks so good, you're gonna get the big piece. That's messed up. <laughs> I got the most toxins. I in mean, show. just in case, you know, if that were to happen, but hey, had I not told you what that was, it's a nice looking little fish sandwich guy there, but. Someone's at your door. We're gonna... Man, he got me. Okay, that's fine, fair enough. Let's get a taste, see how it is, I don't know. The lions are gonna enjoy it. Let's see if we're gonna enjoy it though. All right, cheers. That thing's skinny your little bite. Alrighty. Woo! Hot. Hot. Very hot. That's really good. Yeah. That is not bad at all. It's just the stinkiness on the boat that deters a lot of a, a lot of people from wanting to go out and catch it over something else. But, dude, honestly, not bad at all. Trust me, I was very, very skeptical about how this would look and taste, and smelling it, cleaning it, I was like, eh, I don't want to do this. But, pretty dang good. Well, I'll have to keep a couple of them. If I get sick, I guess we'll see what happens. Stay tuned. Go to my channel and see if I end up in the hospital or I don't even know, but yeah, if one of us faces. dies, the other one will post on Instagram about it. So we'll hold the funeral, but all jokes aside, guys, pretty cool, different video, but something I've always kind of wanted to try. Glad I was able to try something new and glad Landon could join along with us. I mean, you are hounding that thing. Yeah, it's Somebody likes that. I got to do my little outro thing here, but glad we had Landon along today. Go check out his video. He's gonna be feeding this carcass to the lions at the zoo where he works, so that'll be pretty cool stuff. But we just thank you guys for tuning in and watching the videos. Don't forget, like, comment on the video, subscribe, and make sure you stay tuned for next week's video where we show you what else we got today because it was an epic day for sure. So until next time, we'll see you then.